Um, in this short video, just ex short explanation on how we actually going to move with Webster and uh, short in short our vision. We not just focus on sales and not just a good product. This is a crucial stuff and we aware that it should be in place. So we will work hard on this one at the first uh, point and uh, along all the way along. But at the same time, we understand the point of uh, investors and ourselves uh, to uh, run long-term companies that works a lot in long term. That's why we build a roadmap like that and we focus ourselves on a long-term run uh, to actually make a really good exit and the company that really makes difference in the world and works on um, global markets. Um, right now, we're searching for about $60,000 in a seed round to uh, actually start this thing with a viral launch where we need 40k for marketing and 20k for development to be able to deliver on time and uh, with this amount of money we're able to um, put ourselves on Russian market and Australian market because on Australian market right now we have organizers uh, partners that uh, with whom we are able actually to uh, launch uh, our product uh, on uh, stages uh, live and online as well and uh, being supported uh, with um, uh, from the sales standpoint, etc. And um, next thing is that when we enter these two markets, uh, uh, we test with Australian market, uh, we test English market with Australian market, and then we uh, put in our automated sales funnels on autopilot, and just uh, building in uh, uh, traffic, uh, just keep running, uh, driving traffic to our sales funnels and keep converting. It gives us ability to fix, to be um, um, hold tight on that market and grow, keep growing on, on this market as well because we just would be uh, running sales uh, constantly 24 7 365 days. And from market to market we're using the same strategy to enter and to, to be um, uh, hold on this market very tight, very good. Uh, with uh, our funnel and uh, growing our sales and amount of accounts and uh, then we go into UK and uh, USA and Europe. We also have uh, partners, I have friends in USA, in affiliate, uh, market niche, etc. It's the same in uh, UK, we have organizers, event organizers, people with uh, big email bases um, and so on. Uh, that help us to actually launch our product uh, with uh, wire launch method that we have. And um, you know, we need uh, somewhere around 500k dollars for this round plus what money we will have for, uh, out of previous sales uh, to actually uh, be uh, super effective and grow fast on these markets as well. Next thing is actually to launch uh, Eastern Asia, India, Japan markets uh, in East Asia, it means uh, Thailand, uh, Vietnamese, um, Indonesia, and so on. Businesses uh, have uh, this uh, problem with uh, lifetime value cost, acquisition cost, the same like everywhere. This is multinational. I travel to these countries, I talk to these businesses, and each time I face the same stuff or uh, problems they have. So in these markets, we're going to launch... Uh, uh, after US and uh, English ones. Also, one thing to mention, Webster is going to be launched at Russian and English as well uh, from day one. And uh, we have uh, already experience with our team to build in products on English uh, at the same moment in Russian. Uh, then uh, um, localizations on uh, different languages like this uh, will cost us um, some amount of investments, uh, but we are aware about it and we know how to actually do it. We already are partners in this question and uh, we will be launching the same way. To talk about East Asia, India and Japan uh, is one thing to mention that in East Asia and India, for example, there is approximately zero comp competition in this field because other things, um, other platforms uh, doesn't provide anything on uh, their native languages at all. And uh, these markets are starving, they are hungry things like that. For example, in Thailand, they grow growing right now really fast. They have uh, easy access, uh, uh, low cost uh, money, ability to make loans, to be zero um, in uh, taxing, etc. And their markets are growing. And uh, for next two years, this is an uh, incredible opportunity for us to fix ourselves on this market, to put ourselves on this market and um, grow our 
client's list uh, higher and higher. Uh, after that, uh, we need the next launch of, uh, we need the next round of uh, approximately $10 million. And all these steps, uh, one thing to mention uh, is uh, to raise rounds to get evaluation, to get evaluation higher and higher. Uh, with just improving ourselves, uh, cost of our company, and growing um, price of our uh, shares. Uh, so, also we taking this, uh, we searching for this money to uh, be efficient to scale up to markets like China. Uh, difficult ones, uh, but at the same time really uh, profitable ones uh, from this point of uh, entering there and the amount of clients are already there. This is a highly business. Uh, a developed region and uh, most uh, businesses difficult to enter because um, they don't know specifics. Uh, for example, to say why we so confident to enter Chinese market because also I work with uh, event organizer who was selling the same sort of stuff to uh, uh, on uh, events that was gathering up to ten thousand people in one big. Um, uh, we say it like not stadium, but it's a big uh, um, hall with. Uh, uh, with a place for 10,000 people and they were selling from stages uh, similar product and uh, we in touch with these organizers and uh, we are aware about how to enter there. Uh, localization will cost us some money but marketing uh, would be also one of the parts that we need to be uh, really uh, good prepared for. So. By doing that, we grow in our evaluation, and by doing that, we collecting customers. Um, by collecting customers and what they does with our platform, we collect incredible amount of data and incredible amount of artificial intelligence self learning uh, thing inside that uh, makes our engine inside so good to uh, sell, uh, so good to work with the customers that we will be able from one point uh, to go into market of uh, Internet of Things and help with our platform being uh, uh, providing the licenses to devices to companies that produce uh, Internet of Things uh, devices to help these companies to profit profit more uh, from what they have just integrating with Webster and being able actually to automate their sales and customer support for their devices with our platform. And uh, by that point, our platform would be so advanced in uh, talking to customers, uh, create love with customers, and basically run uh, sales by providing value that uh, Internet of Things uh, business owners and companies um, would love to work with us. And uh, we see this market as uh, one of the huge things uh, to enter because uh, more than $20 trillion uh, by the end of 2017 is... Uh, forecast of this market even bigger some numbers say that it's going to be uh, somewhere around like 70 trillion dollars by 2019 etc uh, so this is a huge market we need to enter with our platform just to do diversificate our um income streams etc and uh, then we're going to uh, become a big data uh, company that provides reports sales and marketing analysis anal analysis uh, buying behavior things etc for uh, fortune 500 companies and for uh, any type of business that need it. we will be uh, companies that gather so much about uh, buying behavior on mobile traffic platforms that um, pro approximately only facebook would be um, main competitor but uh, having ability to work with china and wechat for example we would be advantage working with asia the same thing etc etc we see a lot of opportunities there and here, and this is strategic uh, goals for us to go to. Uh, and of course, uh, when you talk about IPO or exit and uh, other things, uh, we just uh, not gonna stop growing after these uh, steps as well. So to explain in short, this roadmap built on the vision of uh, from uh, five to uh, ten years for this company. Talking about uh, platforms like mobile traffic and uh, messengers and bots, we're not talking about being a bot, we're talking about being a platform that works uh, with businesses and um, demand for businesses uh, to stay in touch with their clients will never end. Uh, we will change, uh, it could be changed platforms, uh, it could be changed uh, devices, wherever, but the core inside of communication with the clients 
will be um, always in place. This is the main uh, thing that businesses demand, to stay in touch with their clients and keep automate their sales. And uh, this is where we are, uh, will be always helpful for businesses. And this is why we will survive even uh, bots will die or bot trend will die. Uh, and uh, we also envision how we're going to enter IoT and uh, big data companies, etc. And uh, actually uh, start working on uh, integrating with the voice recognition, face recognition and so on that will make our system even more efficient and even more effective and even more uh, sexy to our clients to work with us. So this is how we envision our roadmap and uh, I hope it will resonate with you. Um, and uh, main point to understand this is long run. This is not something just to take some money, try something, test uh, uh, our hypothesis or something like that. These numbers already proven and uh, these markets are already also tested and we know how to work with them, how to regenerate on them, how to get traffic on them, we know numbers and in the chart with the traffic you see numbers that was taken uh, from not forecasts uh, but from uh, previous sales, uh, similar products on this market, so the same audience. Thank you very much for your attention and uh, in uh, uh, next video we will uh, talk about our investment position. Thank you much.